Shalom, everybody. And it's a great time to remember our Lord and our Savior for what He did and the salvation brought to us through His name. Today, our topic, as you see from the thumb of the video, is about how to refute Muhammad by using the word of Muhammad. As you know, I don't give speeches. And if you try to show Muslims proofs of the crucifixion of Jesus, which Muhammad he denied supposedly, the Muslim they will say to you, your Bible is corrupted, which is very funny because supposedly according to their God, he is the one who sent the Bible. So this silly God, he sent book, he could not preserve them. This is how stupid he is. But we have a better way to get Abdul busted with their lies. Remember here, don't be confused, Islam have nothing to do with the Christianity. But Muhammad as a fraud, and as all a fraud, they have to change their idea from time to time. So now he is trying to speak to the Christians, trying to convert them into his cult. So he have to use the name of Jesus and Mary and all names, you know. It's like a thief, you want to come to your house and then you will not open the door for him. Maybe even you will shoot him. If, he, if you know he is a thief, he is a criminal. So what he'll come to you, he will put a uniform of the cable guy. He says, hey, I'm from the cable company. The cable company, they send me to fix your cable. But your cable is okay. But this is an excuse. Maybe he can get a chance to get in. So Muhammad is the same as the cable guy who is not working for the cable company. 
he sent by the cable company which does not exist and the cable company here is his God Allah which does not exist if you read with me the whole Quran you know the Quran have time to talk about the ants speaking to Solomon Solomon flying carpet Solomon with his wife Solomon and blah 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 Solomon Solomon the seven sleepers I mean but this, the crucifixion of Jesus have only one verse in the Quran just one The first time I did read this, I was like, I don't know, maybe teenage, you know, maybe 13, 12, I'm not sure. Right away I noticed there is something stupid in this verse, if we can call it a verse. If you read with me, you will see here it says, but so it was made appear to them. Appear what? the crucifixion of Jesus. So look what the stupid Muhammad he did. He just confirmed the crucifixion. How we human being confirm what happened from what not happened or did not happen? By witnesses. If you go to the court, you say this guy killed this guy. How you prove that this guy killed? The first thing is, there's witnesses. If there's zero witnesses, then you have to find different evidence, which is going to be very hard. But maybe with technology today, we have different kind of witnesses. We have like cameras, you know, uh, security cameras. We have uh, maybe DNA. But at that time, what is the proof of somebody being killed by somebody? What is the proof of it? witnesses and as you see the Quran confirm that all the nation of Israel including the Christians because remember the first Christians are from the nation of Israel all of them they saw the crucifixion of Jesus this is what the Quran is saying read it I'm not saying that it's a stupid Quran saying so the stupid Quran try to deny the crucifixion of Jesus by saying they crucified him not. They killed him not. But look what he said at the end of the sentence. They killed him not, nor crucified him. But it was, but so it was made to appear to them. You ask the Muhammadan, how that appeared to us? They will say Allah. Allah made them think that this is the one in the cross is Jesus. He made someone look like Jesus. Exactly look like Jesus. You have the voice of Jesus, the hair of Jesus, the eyes of Jesus, the height of Jesus, the look of Jesus, perfectly. Remember, Allah is the best of cloners, not only the best of creator, He cloned. <laughs> if you remember that Allah, He cloned Jibreel, He made him in the look of the Hil Kalbi, which is the boyfriend of Muhammad. So, Islamic religion, when they deny, if we can call it a religion, when they deny the crucifixion of Jesus, Muhammad, because he is Satan himself, and he knew, that salvation, salvation is based on believing in Jesus and whatever Jesus did. And if a person, he denied the crucifixion of Jesus, he is no Christian no more. So he said to himself, how I can send those billions to hell? I will make them believe that the one was on the cross is not Jesus. I will deceive them. I will lie to them. And look what Muhammad, he just did. He just said to us that his God is a deceiver. Where he said that? It's in front of you. According to the story, Allah, he made someone look like Jesus appear in the cross. But isn't it, this is what deception is about? He made Jesus appear in the cross for everybody. Everybody. To the point not a single Christian, including the disciple of Jesus, can deny his crucifixion. In fact, John, he said, we touched his wound and we saw, we saw them. We touched them, we saw them. When he appeared to them second time. Because they could not believe how he came back from death. So they have to touch his wound. Not only to see him, and he spoke to them 
and he walked with them. So what Muhammad did, he thought by making such a stupid statement, he solved the problem and now the Christians will be deceived and they will not follow Jesus no more, so they will go to hell. But in fact, what he did, he just confirmed the crucifixion, that every single word in the Bible about Jesus' crucifixion is true. Because the disciple's job is to witness to Jesus. And the true witness is the one who say what he saw, not what someone else say. Or assumption. And as you see the Quran, which is not, I mean, even the name Quran, by the way, is a fabrication name. Quran is an Aramaic word. How the Arabic book become Quran? And Quran does not make fit, it doesn't fit even with, the, with the, what, what Muhammad received, because Muslims, they agree, Muhammad never received a book. He received recitation. Quran means qarra wa ra'a, which means he pronounced qarra what he saw, ra'a. Muhammad did not read, even the Muslim they say he cannot even read. So the stupid Muhammad, aka the devil, he denied the crucifixion of Jesus, but in the same phrase he confirmed it. And now you ask yourself, as long as Muhammad agreed that the Christians, the Jews, the everybody there, the Romans, the atheists, the pagans, whatever they are there, you know, located there, witness someone look exactly like Jesus on the cross. So how you can deny what they witness? And then the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that 600 years after Allah decided to tell us Remember the Muslims, they say to you, do you know that the book of John written 50, 60 years after Jesus? But they accept a book written about Jesus 600 years after. Do you see the hypocrisy? So 50, 60 years is a problem. But 600 years of someone, he never saw Jesus. He never witnessed Jesus. He doesn't speak even the language of Jesus. He doesn't even read his own language. He can witness to what Jesus done what Jesus said and what happened to Jesus. So this verse alone proved to us a lot of stupidity, but before we we know here you see something, they look at this, and those who differ therein are full of doubt. Who are they those? It says in the front of you that the Jews they said we killed Christ, how they are different. Read it, I mean look at stupidity. You know when somebody here write a book usually a writer, it doesn't matter how stupid he is, he will not contradict himself within two minutes. Like maybe two pages after, five pages after, ten pages after. But this guy is an idiot. Here it says, they say we killed Christ. They are not saying maybe we killed Christ. Few words after, it says, and those who differ, who are they that differ? Who are they? are full of doubt. Who? Jews, they say we killed him. Christians say we believe it. <laughs> so who is the one who differ? And then they say it with no certain knowledge. <laughs> but you just say to them, it, he appeared in the cross. I mean, what the word knowledge is? Listen carefully. What is the word knowledge for a human being is? Either something we see or something we learn. Your eyes deliver to you knowledge. Even simple knowledge, like you know, you want to go in your house, you want to go to the kitchen. You are cooking, you see steam coming out, that means the water is boiling, don't touch it. Knowledge. You see the fire, don't touch it. Knowledge. Your brain is communicating with your eyes and what you see become knowledge. Doesn't matter how much complicated or how much simple it is. So how they saw him in the cross? 
and how you say with no knowledge how you they saw him and you made it appear to them which means you gave them a knowledge and the knowledge is what they witness do you see Muslims why we laugh at Muhammad Muhammad is a satanic person he is an agent of Satan um, I might be the devil himself I don't know but I believe the devil is smarter than this I mean this is silly this is so stupid and based on this how we can even trust Allah maybe Muhammad is not Muhammad maybe Jibreel is not Jibreel maybe Christian Prince is not the Christian Prince it appeared to us Do you see how stupid this cult is? Because now the Christian and the Jews, they saw Jesus in the cross. And the Quran confirmed that. And the one who made it happen is Allah. So Allah is the only person who was involved in this, made it to appear to them. The Muslim, they say to you, because Allah want to save Jesus. Okay, that's good. Can't he save Jesus without making it appear to them? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Same time, if he saved Jesus already, Jesus already saved. He does not need to clone somebody in the cross and this drama. You deceive three billion human beings. If this is really what happened, is that what Allah want? So the story of Muhammad is fabrication, stupid, ignorant, donkey, certified idiot, potato. He claimed, he claimed to be a smart person who discovered something. But hold on, I want to go back a little bit just to show you how stupid Muhammad is. The stupidity of Muhammad is beyond imagination. In verse number 155, it says that the Jews, they killed the prophets. Who? By the way, translation is not really accurate here. Let me, I don't know, translation of who is this one? Yusuf Ali, ah, okay. Yusuf Ali, in his time, there's no Google. I wonder what he was using. Let us see Hilali and Khan, Hilali and Khan. Uh-huh. Maybe Hilali can do better. Uh-huh. What a stupid. I cannot find when Abdul, he can translate his book without being miserable. Stupid. <clears throat> the people of the scripture, brother, the Jews, between two brackets, <laughs> I thought the people of the scriptures is the Jews and the Christians, they are the Jews now. Anyway, this is how stupid the Quran, you have, the, the Muslims, you see, the, the more bracket you see, the more obvious the Quran is lack of details to tell you we are talking about who. Why they put the word Jews there? What? You know, why are you, why you are putting the Jews? If Allah did not put the Jews there. Because of their breaking the covenant. Uh, what uh, covenant? Shouldn't you explain? What, what are you talking about? Eh, covenant. And they're rejecting of ayat. Huh? Proofs and evidence, verses. Where is the proof? Muhammad has zero miracles. The Jews ask Muhammad, listen, potato. And the stupid Muhammad, he confirmed what they say. This is how funny he is. Allah told us, the Jews don't believe in Allah, we know that. But this is what the Quran is saying. Allah told us, the brother, in order to believe in a prophet, he have to give a sacrifice. And then, if God, he sent fire from the sky to eat the sacrifice, we will believe him. Chapter 3, verse 183. 
Muhammad could not do that because Muhammad has zero miracles. The only miracle Muhammad he have is having sex with the pillow and he think it's his wife. As the hadith says, the prophet, he imagined himself having intercourse. He did not mention pillow, by the way, but I'm assuming, I hope it's not a goat. Yet he think he had intercourse with his wives, all his wives. This is how much illusion this guy. How we can trust what he say, even his sex is fake. So those Jews who say it, verily Allah has taken our promise not to believe in any messenger unless any prophet, any messenger, unless he bring us an offering which the fire from the heaven shall devour. Say, verily, there come to you messengers before me with a clear signs, even with what you speak of, why you did kill them? And now let us love together. Who is the Muslim can tell me the names of the messengers killed by the Jews? Your book is here. Your prophet is there. And I'm waiting for the answer. Any Muhammadan? How is my voice coming in Rumble and YouTube? Is it good? Is it good? Anyone notice with me here how, how bad, how, how problematic this stupid statement is? As long as the Jews, they killed many prophets already. <laughs> so why not Jesus? <laughs> So Allah decide to save Jesus only like we, 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 we. I will never let you kill Jesus, okay? Not only that, if you go in the hadith, you will see that the Jews, they killed Muhammad himself. According to Muhammad, police be upon him, he said <laughs> that the poison he ate at Khaybar is killing him and cutting his artery. Do you see it? The Prophet in his element, which he died, and by the way, you will notice here after the word the Prophet, the Muslim, they said, put this sentence in Arabic. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are pagan. Allah pray on him and salute him. Imagine, you see, I serve in the army. One of the things in the army, you have to salute whoever you see in your way, especially if he is higher rank. But Allah in Islam, he pray on Muhammad and answer you with him. <laughs> I lose her. The drill sergeant Abdul Muhammad Allah serving you here, brother. What the heck is that? They can't even put the word Prophet or his name without adding this, what you see in the screen, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the stupid Muhammad is their God. And God himself Allah supposedly is exist to serve him. In fact, there's a hadith, if you remember, where it says that if there is no Muhammad, Allah, he said, if not Muhammad, I will not create the universe, the trees, the, tree, the chair, the chair of Allah, the throne of Allah, the pen of Allah, the tablet of Allah, the, the poopoo of Allah, the penis of Allah, nothing will be exist if there's no Muhammad. Everything is exist because of Muhammad. So here you see, that Muhammad himself died by the Jews. Okay, let's go back to the story. So why Allah allowed many prophets to be killed by the Jews, including Muhammad, <laughs> but not Jesus? Any Muslim can tell us? Allah don't care for Muhammad. Allah is not important. Muhammad is not important for him. Muhammad is nobody. He don't come to help. Hmm? Why? Muhammad is a loser? Is it fair that Muhammad, your beloved prophet, is under the ground eaten by the worms? And Isa, the one who did nothing anyway, according to you Muslims, his book is gone, his followers are deceived, they will go to hell. So what? Why is it preserved in heaven alive right now with God 
and your prophet is under our feet, suffering from defeat. Hmm? What a stupid religion. Who is a Muslim can tell me in the chat in any YouTube or Ramble, the name of the prophet was killed by the Jews according to Islam. Give me the name. And you give me a name, give me, tell me where you get from. Any Muslim? And as you see, it says, kill them. Kill them. There's many, many. Hey Muslims, can you name for me? They mean more than three. Three and more. We don't know how many, maybe five, maybe six, maybe ten. If there is any Abdul can tell us the names of the Prophet killed by the Jews, documented by Muhammad. If the Quran is saying so, without any names, that means the Quran is a silly, stupid, silly book. Isn't it worth it to mention the flying carpet of Suleiman, but not to mention a prophet who was killed by the Jews? Are you with me, guys? Do you understand my point? Which one is important to mention? An ant speaking to Solomon or a prophet of God was killed by the Jews. And as long as there are many of them, so how come Allah, he have time to tell us about all the silly, stupid stories? Zulkarnain, brother, the guy with the two horns. I mean, he's, he don't have a name. The guy with the two horns. I mean, is he, is he a cow? What do you mean Zulkarnain? Zulkarnain in Arabic means the man with, with the, the, not the man, sorry. The, 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 the one with the two horns. One what? We don't know. So this God have time to tell us all kind of fiction stories, stupid stories. Gog and Magog. Mm. Oh, he have time to tell us about Harut and Marut. They open a school to teach magic, brother. And what is the purpose of this school? Is to divorce the wife and the husband. As you know, I have degrees in law, so I can work as a lawyer. And I want to be thankful for Allah because I'm going to work as a divorce lawyer. Contact me immediately. Our number is 1-800-HARUT and MARUT. <laughs> so does God have time to tell us such a stupid fairy tale story? Who in the world do to believe that there's a God? He sent two angels in the Tower of the Bible by the lover of Babylon. Where we sit down, Harut the clown, open a school. To, what the heck? This is a story coming from legions about two angels came down and they opened a school to teach, you know, <laughs> to teach magic. And look at the stupid story. Suleiman did not commit, uh, you know, uh, a kufr brother. No, no, no. It is the 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 the, the one who is doing that. Okay, who? What happened? It says here. Listen to the details. But the shayateen, shayateen, the shayateen disbelieve. I mean, I thought shaitan is. There's only one shaitan. They ask. They ask. Uh, uh, a Muslim. He asks the scars. He says. Uh, but Allah, He kicked only one shaitan from heaven. How there is shayateen? Did he get married? The scholar, he said, this is a wedding I did not attend yet. <laughs> and then the Muslim to explain how shaitan have kids because Allah kicked only one shaitan. They say that Allah created for him a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. So when he want to do boom boom to himself, he shake his legs. Chuk, 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 chuk. You know, 
So he hid this with that and he entered this into the that he do nikah. And then he lay 10 eggs. From every egg, 72 shaitan and shaitan, which means male and female shaitan. Look at this madness. And now the God of Islam, he have time to tell us about Harut and Marut stories. Two angels who open a school to teach magic. Before you join the school, brother, you have to sign a disclaimer. Learn, learn carefully. And those angels people learn that by which they cause separation between the man and his wife. If there's any one of you here is fighting for divorce, brother, problem, your problem is in the Babylon Tower with Harut and Marut. <clears throat> the school of magic <clears throat> and divorce. Let me get one of those drops for my voice. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. There's a guy he complained. He says, "Do you do you while you are uh, moving the drops next to the microphone? Do you bring a, a, a brush of sorry a bottle of water to the church? The stupid idiot he thinks YouTube is a church. Mento. Sometime I ask God, did you create those people? Why? Go oh, there, mercy. <clears throat> All right." So, uh, Allah have time for all those silly stories and those enough alone to, to, to make you understand that Muhammad is a mental, mentally ill, low IQ. I mean, how smart Muhammad is to believe that there is a God, his name is Allah, he sent two angels to open Harry Potter school. And what is the purpose of the school? to make the wife and the husband fight. Hold on, I see my neighbor. My neighbor wife, she is chasing my neighbor. She is throwing shoes at him. What happened? He got injured. Let me call the police. Hello, police? The divorce police? Okay, there is a male victim. He is now in the ground and he is suffering from a brain injury of high heels. How high? Well, Muhammad was so high when he wrote this. <laughs> what do you mean how high? It's very high. <laughs> so look at this, this, how long this is story. And they tell them, listen, before you learn, disclaimer, you know, <laughs> don't use it. Like, what the heck? So why are you teaching them? <laughs> and you know, divorce by magic. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm going to put a spell on you. I want every one of you now to grab his credit card. Look at me. Harut Marut, Shankabut, Akrut Fakrut, Ah, Ochtabut. Now, all of you will go automatically. And you give me your wealth, your houses, your goat, your ma. Everything, everything. I have control over you. Black magic, it's working, working. And when the black magic worked, by the way, let me let me show you what I did to Prophet Muhammad. You might, because you might say to yourself, I cannot do anything. Yeah, right. Okay, just to show you. I put a black magic on Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him. This time it was a spell upon him. And Muhammad since then he imagined himself. He had done a thing, but in fact, he did not. And look, look what the Muslim, they say, the Prophet was bewitched. Can you believe it? The Prophet was bewitched. So the one talking about the crucifixion of Jesus was bewitched. You are listening to someone, he is bewitched. And he imagined himself had done a thing, but in fact, he did not. How you can trust that he saw an angel? This guy, he imagined himself. It's clear he had mental illness. Look, it's not me who is saying imagine. Listen, I'm not the one saying the word. You see, the word imagine is written by you Muslims. Say it by Aisha, police be upon her. Do you see it? 
imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. And what is the reason? He was bewitched. Okay, hold on. The Quran says that Allah he sent two angels to teach black magic only for the purpose of divorce. But Muhammad did not divorce Aisha. So why the black magic is working in that direction? Is it the black magic is the one taught by Harut and Marut? And he taught them only one trick? Look, in different hadith it says that the Prophet he imagined himself. Because I just typed the word imagine himself and look what I found. Look, just to show you the wisdom of a Prophet Muhammad. My uncle asked Allah Messenger about a person who imagined that he had passed wind during the prayer. <laughs> Imagine now Muhammad is a king. He's in the White House. And they have all the ministers and general of the army. And I put my hand up. Uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Your Majesty. What if somebody, uh, when he is uh, praying, uh, uh, he uh, imagine, you know, uh, the scenario. What? Allah Apostle replied, he should not leave his prayer, which means he should blind everybody with his with, with the foam coming from, from his anus. He should not leave the prayer unless he hears the sound and he is being a sweet <laughs> So is it the sound who they make your prayer not accepted or it is the fart itself? As long as it is silence fart, it's okay. <laughs> so what the point? What a stupid man. So anyway, the prophet who imagined things. Look at this. I just type imagine, you know. Look at this story here. The magic was worked on the prophet. So he became, began fancy. <laughs> Fancy Muslims? <laughs> that is a fancy story. <laughs> fancy, fancy, how are you? Prophet Nancy say hello to you. He is fancy about everything. And Christian Prince made him barbecue. Fancy, fancy, how do you do? I mean, what happened? The Prophet of Allah, he fancy? Hey guys, what fancy mean? Teach me English, please. I, my, my English is not good, as you know. I can read it in Arabic, but my English is not helping me. Fancy? Like what? He is imagining Billy Dancer or something? What do you mean? What the heck is that? What? Mmm. The fancy. So how we can trust this man? And then that was he was doing a thing which he's not actually doing. <laughs> hey Prophet, why you are taking off your panty? But hello, Prophet? I'm doing poo poo. No, you are not. Huh? I'm doing poo poo right now. No, you are not. Prophet Muhammad, stop. What are you doing? Leave your penis. What are you doing? What? Got it? I'm having sex. Your wife is not in front of you. What sex with who? What are you, what are you doing? Why are you shaking your body like that? There's nobody in front of you. Are you doing boom boom with the air? Is that an air boom boom? The Prophet, he imagined himself doing things. In fact, he is not. <laughs> One day, he invoked Allah. Look, here, the story gets serious. Muhammad, he cannot take it no more. So what he said, let me call Allah. Teradam, 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 hello? Allah? First of all, this is like Dr. Naik. And you know, I did not do it. You know, we'll give you my phone number. I'm Prophet Muhammad. I'm calling you, and this number given to me by a Christian prince. First of all, 
You are not the Prophet Muhammad because Prophet Muhammad is dead. Thank you for that too. Could some brains he cannot give you my phone number because I just changed it five minutes ago. Well, I don't know. This is the phone number he gave me. I'm going to check out. How in the world again? You need to find my phone number. I just didn't send my phone number. I didn't get my phone number again. I keep changing my phone number. And then I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. The Muslim was going on. He One day he invoked Allah. According to the story, Muhammad was under black magic for a year. One day, <laughs> once upon the time, there was a rabbit. <laughs> he think he is a lion. <laughs> and he never changed his habit. <laughs> he go attack the elephant. And he said to him, I am the lion. But once upon the time, he found out that he is nothing but a rabbit. What the heck is that? And then uh, he invoked, look for long period. Allah will not answer the call unless it is long period. <laughs> I feel that Allah has inspired me as how to cure myself. Two person, look, hold on. How Allah he inspire you how to cure yourself and you just said two person came to me <laughs> uh, came to me look Muslim they are between two dreams doesn't say dream and said one on my head and the other one on my feet oh boy it cannot happen unless they sit on him mm. this is the guy who want to tell you about the crucifixion of Jesus you can read the story I'm not going to read it so there is a guy, his name is Lubaid ibn Asam, he is a Jew. He is the one who bewitched Muhammad. Look how easy it is. Any Jewish man, he can bewitch any Muslim. If they can, if they can bewitch Muhammad himself, don't you think they can bewitch the king of Jordan, the king of Saudi Arabia, the prime, prime minister of Pakistan? Huh? You know, uh, Pakistan, one day, they send an ambassador to Saudi Arabia. The Saudi king, he refused to accept him as an ambassador because his name in Arabic means the biggest penis. <laughs> anyway, you know, I mean, look how filthy this religion. You cannot even talk about Muhammad without talking about penis and all the garbage. Even the story says that Muhammad, he could not even have sex with his wives, he imagined, look, read with me, I'm not making things up, my friend, this is a story. Aisha, she said, and who knows I am Muhammad better than Aisha. She lived in his underwear, 24 hours, seven days a week. The Prophet continued for such a such a period, imagining <clears throat> that he had slipped between two brackets. Thank you, Muslims, for the bracket, by the way. I appreciate all your brackets. Honestly, we don't know what to do without your brackets. I mean, the Quran is messed up. We have to add... Also, if we take the brackets from the Quran, English, the Quran will be 10, 10 pages only. Just take the bracket away. Because the Quran is so clear to the point we have to add brackets. <laughs> so, he had a sexual intercourse with his wife, but he, in fact he did not. So how this guy can tell us what happened to Jesus? How this idiot can tell us what happened to Jesus even if his sex have zero witnesses and it's not true. This guy, he have fantasy, fake sex. He, what, what, what? He continue for, hey Muslims, why you took the, why you took the date? You see, there is no way Aisha, she says such and such. The Muslim, they have a new era of date. It's called such and such. When you were born, Muhammad, uh, in the year of such and such, uh -huh. what is the day of your birthday? Suchi Suchi. <laughs> really? <laughs> when Muhammad died, in the year of Suchi Suchi Suchu. Like, what the heck? What do you mean for such and such? Why you took it? Aisha, she said such and such? I mean, I know average people when they read this, they don't see it funny. But I don't know, when I read it, I see something horrible there, like, 
I'm born in the year of such and such. That is history. Hey, police, what? What year I'm born? Such and such? Huh? Where I live? Such and such. Uh, what the name of my uh, kids? Such and such as Suchi, <laughs> because I have one kid from Japan. <laughs> what the heck? This is science, my friend. So this guy is the one who will tell the Christians who die in the cross and who is not. This guy, Mr. Such and Such. Even his six have zero witnesses. Like him, Muhammad. When you had sex with your wives, can you name for us the wives? Uh, yeah, the first one was such and the second one is such. <laughs> and look here, the story changed from the previous one. The previous hadith says in my dream between bracket here, there's no bracket, there's no dream. It says there is two, there's come to me two men. One of them sit near my feet and the other one near my head. <laughs> I'm so glad nobody get close to your penis. <laughs> that would be horrible. A lot of lies there. And ask, one of them to ask the other one, the one near my head, pointing at me. And he said, what's wrong with him? So why is there if this guy he doesn't know? I mean, why? <clears throat> listen, listen, Muhammad. So two, they came to Muhammad. One sat next to his head and the other one next to his feet. The one next to his head, he said to the one next to his feet, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> I assume that the one who was next to the head of Muhammad is Lady Dawa. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> and the one was next to the feet of Muhammad was Zakir Naik. But the sitter, Prophet Muhammad didn't let me with him, and he won't be with my Jewish man. Oh, like what the heck? <laughs> and the later replied, he's under effect of magic, brother. <laughs> the first ask, one ask, who had worked magic on him? Like what the heck? This guy, the second one is ignorant. He know nothing. He just there to make a theater. It's like you know <laughs> the story. We have to we have to get the second one to get the information out. So the whole story we have to add to to make a story of a conversation. Otherwise, how we can tell them what happened? I mean, it's going to be funny if the guy talking to himself, saying he was under magic. So now we brought another person who is supposedly stupid. And that first person who is supposedly the smart, the wise man, who have knowledge. The other replied, his name, Lubayid ibn al-Asim. Look at this guy, he even know his name. The first one asked, what material he used? Look at the details, brother. You have to use material to put the black magic on Muhammad. <laughs> oh boy. Muslims, what material I should use with you? I mean, besides sex channels, porn, and Andrew Tate's website. I mean, what work would you? Can you tell me? He used material, really. What material he used? In, and the other replied, the skin of pollen of a male date. Remember, it can't be female. No way. Are you kidding me? If you try to use a black magic with male pollen, it will not work. It have to be male date. <laughs> Look at the detail. Science. This is pure science. Oh boy. Somebody have a trouble to concentrate in his driving? Why you don't give the, the steering to Harut and Harut? They will drive for you. <laughs> okay, okay. Let us. <laughs> so Muslim, this guy who is imagining things have done what he did not. And he was under very great uh, proven that he is mentally ill he have illusion delusional he can't even be sure of his own sex would mean his his penis is just there yet he is not sure if his penis doing the job with his wives or not
I'm not eating. I'm using those things, drops, for uh, for the voice, so I will not lose my voice. I wrote and Marud advised me to use it. <clears throat> so I'm. I don't know if it's going to work. We will see. Is my voice is coming okay when I'm uh, having those in my mouth? That okay? I hope I'm not bothering you. <clears throat> it just helped me to, uh, you know. <laughs> I guess speaking too many hours is not easy, right? We need to take a break. All right. So going back to the topic, otherwise Muhammad's stories is really stupid, and this guy is mentally ill, obviously. But as you see from the story, the Quran confirmed that Jesus was crucified. The same verses where it says that they did not crucify Jesus is the same verses confirm that Jesus was crucified. Why? Because simply, if this is what the disciple of Jesus and the Jews they saw, that means this is what happened. And that means every single word in the Bible about the crucifixion of Jesus is true. For this is what they saw. Honest witnesses cannot be blamed for saying what they saw. If I saw Christ on the cross as the stupid Quran saying, and yet claiming that he was not crucified, but saying that Allah, he made the Messiah. Oh, look at this here. We change the translator. Look at this. Brothers, sisters, read with me. And because of their saying and boast, we killed the Messiah, Isa, Isa, son of Maryam, Mary, Mary, uh, the messenger of Allah. The Jews, they say he's a messenger of Allah. Are you sure? <laughs> but they killed him not, nor crucified him, brother. But remembrance of Isa, Jesus was put over another man. <laughs> and they killed that man, brother. Look at the funny story. Hmm? So Allah made someone look like Isa, Jesus. By the way, Muslims, who is this Isa? I want to know. <laughs> I mean, your Muhammad have a lot of names, by the way. I mean, this guy, he he got us names. We never, we as an Arab Christians, we never heard of Isa before. Never, never. We never heard the, the name Isa ever. You will not find one Christian book in Arabic using the word Isa. We don't. We don't know who this guy is. Huh? And then Allah He put someone on the cross who look exactly like Mr. Isa. So the Roman soldiers they arrested Isa, but this is not Isa. But Isa was not Isa for Isa looked like Isa. But Isa he went taken to the cross who looked like Isa. And then they crucified Isa, who looked like Isa, but he's not Isa. And then his mother and the disciples, they saw Isa, who is not Isa, on the cross, dying like Isa, but this is not Isa. So Isa, who is not Isa, who was on the cross, and Isa, who was really Isa, was flying to the heaven, running away. Bye-bye, bye-bye, hey, fake Isa, I got you busted, they took you instead of me. <laughs> Look at the smart method of Allah. He wanted to save Isa. How I can save Isa? I will make someone look like Isa. What the, what the name of this guy, uh, uh, Didi, sex trafficker? He have hundreds of millions of dollars. Give Allah some fig. Fig, Allah swear by fig, he's angry. He will change, he will clone you. FBI, they come to arrest you. They arrest the guy, the other guy, the other Didi. So now we have two DD, DD number one, DD number two. They got the wrong DD. <laughs> so Allah brother, what to Chris and breath. First of all, I'm going to get you but then, Zachary Naik, I want to know how in the world you jump in the middle of my broadcast without even using Skype or Discord or phone. First of all, I'm going to export you, and I will tell you everybody that we must learn very knowledgeable. Very you, knowledgeable. You, 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 you must have you say that your prophet cannot even read. Get the prince. Have nothing to do with reading. Knowledge have nothing to do with reading. As an example, I did not know how to read in Arabic. Uh huh. But I can answer your question about the Quran. Okay, exactly. So tell me about the breastfeeding for adult. Get the prince. I don't know that one. Hmm? 
You just told me I can answer anything. Okay, tell me about the stone in verse and the Quran. Can the bread? The bread cannot be found. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Zachary Naik, tell me about the sunset and murky water, as the Quran says. Get the breath. First of all, it says appear to him. I drink the apple. If you go to the ocean, you see in the ocean the sun coming in the water. You think the water is in the in the, the, the ocean. Like what ocean? What Abdul? It says in the Quran, this is a spring of water. There's no ocean. Exactly. Allah, when he see the ocean, he say he means spring. And we say spring, he means ocean. Like what the heck? Your God, when he says ocean, he means spring. <laughs> When he says spring, he means ocean. <laughs> How is that, Zakarnay? First of all, my God Allah, have a crossed eyes. And this is why it's crossed your mind that it's different. Like, what? Your God Allah, have a crossed eyes. <laughs> what does this have to do with my. So, your, your God Allah, he have a crossed eyes, so he sings upside down. What, what are you talking about? Listen, it is an ocean or a spring in the Quran. It says a spring. So your God have a cross eyes or not, still he should say spring. I mean, he sees still a cross eyes, still they see it as it is. But maybe a little bit confusion. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh boy. <clears throat> How many of you are not laughing? I'm sure all of you. Unbelievable. Any, anyway, boring, boring, boring story. <laughs> My God, it's God have a cross eyes. This is a good one. I mean, this guy, Christian Prince, he makes stories faster, faster. Than, you know, imagine if a Christian Prince, he want to make Quran. I can make Quran in two minutes. I can make the sun sitting in, in, in the barrel of water. I can make zucchini grow in the in the head of Zulkarnain. I can add a lot of things. Challenge me. Christian Prince, okay, I challenge you. Make a story about the Quran. All right, Zulkarnain, brother, he was called Zulkarnain because he have only one horn. Get them breath your stupid. How he is having two horns, yet he called him one, you have him one horn. Abdul, first of all, in order to attract people, the, the, be, the more the better. They will read the story more, so you have to confuse them. You tell them two horns, but there is only one horn. Then when they go inside the movie and read the story, they will be surprised. There's only one horn. And by the way, in your car, how many horn you have? Hello? Zakir? In your car, how many horn you have? Hello? Give him breath. You are stupid. I'm a Muslim. I don't drive cars. I drive camel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> oh boy. So this is the guy. He is saying that Allah, he replaced Jesus by someone look exactly like Jesus. So how the Christian, they do lie. That's mean the Bible telling the truth. For this is what they saw. And this is what they witnessed. So the same stupid story in the Quran confirm the crucifixion of Jesus. Even though supposedly it's written to deny the crucifixion of Jesus. And that's why we Muslims, you Muslims, we laugh at your prophet. And we laugh at you, believing in such a donkey. In fact, the word donkey doesn't fit with Muhammad. Donkeys are smart. I told you before, we went once to the mountains and villages, you know. The, there's a farmer there. He told us, if you want to go hiking in the mountains, take the donkey with you. Otherwise, you will lose your way to come back. We told him, oh, what do you mean the donkey? What the donkey would do? He said, when you finish hiking, Finish your fun as a teenage, let the donkey go and follow the donkey. And absolutely the donkey, he took us in a shortcut. Otherwise we will lost our way. So donkeys are smart. Muhammad is not. Muhammad is messed up. So the word donkey does not fit for Muhammad because he don't even have the qualification of a donkey. Who writes such a story unless he is a stupid idiot? In the top of that, if the Jews, they killed many prophets, why Jesus not? In the top of that, why Allah don't want to save Muhammad, who was killed by the Jews? And we know why she killed him, this woman. He killed her tribe, he killed her family. So she gave Muhammad what he deserved. May the Lord bless her hands and grant her heaven.
She killed the filthy man who raped every single woman in her tribe, who kidnapped their children. He killed the men and he sold the rest. And in fact, if you read the story, you will see Muhammad, he told her, why you did that? She said to him, well, you know what? If you are a true messenger of Allah, Allah will save you. If you are a fake man, just a king who is searching for money and booty, may God destroy you. Muhammad, he said to her, Allah will never allow you to do so, which means to kill me. And later the coward, he died, which means the woman, she was right, and Muhammad is a fake prophet. I hope we heard, we, we learned something today and we did not waste our time. Uh, <clears throat> later I will come back, I will, I will try to come back. Do, should I come back later? Even though my voice is tired, as you can see. But I will try to come back later. Uh, and maybe we can take some calls from Abdul too. Are we good? All right, Muslims. Uh, thank you for listening, Muslims, and uh, uh, may Allah protect you from poison and magic caused by the Jews and uh, Walmart. And uh, brother, according to your prophet, if you eat seven ajwa a day, no poison, brother, and no magic man can help you. So how Muhammad, he says he takes seven ajwa a day, seven date. And those will protect you from any black magic or any poison. And yet, both he ha happened to him. Seven ajwa? What if we take six and a half? Will not work? What if I ate eight? Look at the details, brother. The number, the amount. What if it's a big ajwa? Like, is it big ajwa, seven ajwa? How many gram every ajwa? Shouldn't we need more details, brother? So seven ajwa doesn't matter the size, brother. What if we eat two ajwa in the same weight of seven ajwa? <laughs> seven ajwa. <laughs> the seven eleven prophet. I mean, Mickey Mouse is way better to watch than your prophet's stories. We continue watching the stupid Muhammad and his silly, stupid, Fairy theory, fairy te theory. That is a new R English. I mean, when you listen to Christian Prince, you will learn all kind of English words. In fact, we are the one, the Arab. We are the one who created the English. As an example, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. His real name, Shakespeare, is a fake name. His real name is Shakespeare. He's an Arab brother. I'm telling you. <laughs> they hijack anything. Anyone became famous? <laughs> he is a Sunnah for Muhammad. He is an Arab. He is a Muslim. I mean, even my cat is a Muslim. I don't have a cat. It's still, it's a Muslim. Okay, what the heck? But I don't have a cat. It is a Muslim. Doesn't matter. What about my dog? I don't have a dog. He is not a Muslim. How come all animals are Muslim except the dog? <laughs> anyway, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And have a blessed time with the Lord. And remember that this is the time we remember the Messiah, our Lord. But we remember him every day. Pray to him for him. Uh, uh, which means send your prayer to him every day. When you eat little bread. When you enjoy your time. When you... W w anything, any day, any moment in your life. It's not about just a day, a good Friday, uh, you know, Sunday. No, no. The Messiah should be in your life. Otherwise, our life really is under a lot of a pressure. We as a human, we go through a lot of stress. Life is full of stress. And you need the most powerful helper to help you, who can take your pain. He said, let the tired one come to me. And brother, we are all tired. We are all in need of help. We have a mental pressure, stress, work, family, sickness, illness, uh, uh, money, million things around you. Tons of stress. And if you depend only on yourself, in everything, but you don't have the support of the Lord, you will be always lonely. You will feel always lonely. 
you will feel always sad. A believer, he can stand the waves of the ocean way better than someone who have no faith. Because the one who have no faith, he believe he is going to drown. And the one who have faith, his faith will make him a flood above all the storms. The same as Jesus, he controlled the storms. When he was with the disciple, he can control your storm and my storm. For all of us, we live in them, we have them, we suffer from them. He will bless your life and he will make your storm a nice scenery. You learn from it. You get stronger and you become a better sailor. And then you will become a better fisherman who go and fish and bring more people to Christ so you can save them and give them by his name, the eternal life. May the Lord bless you. And for sure, we will be with you live during the Easter day. And I will try to come today again, if I could, until I see you again. May the Lord bless us all, protect you from the evil of Muhammad and his filthy cult and deception. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that. See ya.